get to this now. Parliament's Home Affairs Committee is calling for more security at all land borders. It says the situation at the Bait Bridge and Lebombo border gates are alarming. For more on this, we're joined by the committee's chairperson, Mr. Bongani Bongo. Mr. Bongo, thank you for your time. Good morning to you. Let's talk about some of the concerns you raise here um, as the Home Affairs uh, Committee with regards to these border posts. I mean, what is alarming in your view? Good morning, Mr. Bongo. Can you hear me? Hey, good morning, Dumelo, and good morning to your viewers and compliments of the new year. Compliments. Thank you so much. I was just uh, laughing on the sidelines because you said that and I noticed it's the 6th and, you know, we're still saying Happy New Year, but thank you for that. I had asked earlier on about your view. I mean, you are raising alarms here as the Home Affairs Committee uh, with regards to security at our different border posts uh, into South Africa. What's alarming to you, I mean, at this stage? I think what has been alarming is the, is the number of people who are at our border post as we speak, uh, Bay Bridge, Libongo, and the Maseru. So as the, the Committee of Parliament, we are quite concerned about what is happening there. And we have called the alarm and requested that there be a force multiplier in terms of dealing with this porousness of the border. Particularly in the Bombo, I got the, the alarm that uh, many people are getting in through some illegal means. So that is why we have called on the South African uh, Defense Force to bring in a force multiplier in assisting Home Affairs and the police in dealing with the situation in that uh, part of the country. Mr. Bongo, records show that what is happening at Lubombo Post at Beige, uh, Bridge Border is not unique. It's not new. It's been happening for years. People have been crossing illegally. People have been putting their own lives even at risk uh, just by crossing with reports coming that even some law enforcement officials may be assisting these people through bribes to cross over. Why has it taken so long um, to even hear word from, you know, Home Affairs Government, the committee in terms of enforcing uh, law at this border post. No, thanks, to man. You remember that we, we had committed ourselves into building a better South Africa, better Africa, and a better world. And coming with that, we have now, as the sixth parliament, enacted a legislation called Border Management Authority. So this Border Management Authority itself is also a force multiplier in dealing with the problem. Yes, the way are the problems, the porousness of the border, but the Border Management Authority in its nature and character, it brings about the seven to nine departments that are operating at the border post under one roof, and it will seek to codify about 89 pieces of legislation that are working on our borders. Now, in Zimbabwe, as we speak currently, they have declared a full lockdown. So it's, what is new is that majority of the people of Zimbabwe will want to come towards the borders of South Africa and get in through illegal means and legal means. So what we are calling upon is that we need a force multiplier through the defense force, the police, and our immigration officials in ensuring that we secure the territorial integrity of South Africa and make sure that the people in South Africa feel and are safe wherever they are. Yeah. And with that being said, I mean, with you calling for, you know, security by both the SANDF and the SAPS around these border posts to be beefed up because we are in the middle of a global pandemic. And, you know, the queues that we're seeing there, the congestion and the illegal, um, you know, crossings could cause um, super spreaders because if some of them test positive or they, they're not even tested uh, but still come through, it could pose, you know, a challenge for South Africa and its government. Have you received a commitment and response? from these different agencies as to whether they will act and speediate with uh, urgency? Yes, we have received some commitment, but what we have called upon in the immediate is that these borders must be closed in the immediate so that we start preparing a, a long-term and a medium-term strategy of dealing with what is happening at the point. Because what we have also uh, resolved on was that because as a committee of parliament, we need to have because these countries have parliament. We need to have a parliament-to-parliament -parliament conversation with the nearby countries in the SADC. We also need to have a government-to-government -government 
conversation on how can we improve the situation in the in the border post. But as we are speaking from the committee's side, all that we are calling upon now is that we need to close the borders and sort out all the issues that must be sorted out. The force multiplier that we are requesting from the South African Defence Force is to ensure that we, we guard and police the landward border post in terms of those who are trying to, to break the fence and those who are trying to get to the rivers and those who are trying to get in through, through digging some holes. We need that force multiplier so that in the meantime, we don't get people coming into South Africa because that may create very serious problems of unemployment that we're already facing in South Africa. All right, we'll leave our conversation there, but thank you so much for your time, Mr. Bongani Bongo of the Home Affairs Committee. That's the chairperson.